Hello everyone, my name is Jordan from UC Workspace and welcome to our video on action tiles in Quick Launch. The following video will discuss what an action tile is, what it does, and how to customize your own action tiles. To begin, enter Quick Launch settings by clicking Ctrl Alt S or by clicking the gear icon in the top right of the screen. While in the settings, select the Actions tab on the left followed by the Actions button. The drop-down list that appears on the left side of the screen indicates which action tile category the newly created action tile will be placed in. For this example, I will create a new action tile in the launcher group, which is empty by default. To enable a new action tile, simply click the plus icon located in the lower left corner. The types of action tiles you are able to add are action from catalog, a program on the device, any website, a certain file, or a blank tile. Here, we'll add a website action tile and customize the overall look of the tile. The next screen displayed is the screen that allows for full customization of an action tile. Now that we've added a website action tile, it's time to customize it. We'll review each setting individually while showing how it'll change the action tile. The editable name line will change what the name of the action tile is when Quick Launch is in full screen mode. I will use UC Workspace as the name. The short name section is what Quick Launch will display when Quick Launch is in dock mode. I will use UC Web. The description is what users will see when they hover over the action tile while it is in dock mode. With each action tile, you can associate a keyboard shortcut with numbers 1 through 9 to quickly and easily open action tiles. I will use Ctrl Alt 1 to open my website action tile. Action tiles can be configured to display only in full screen, only in dock view, or in both. Selecting the toggle for show top level will ensure that the newly created action tile is displayed at the top level in dock view, as is shown on screen now. With show top level disabled, the action tile will be nested within its group, launcher in this case. Icon background is the ability to change the background color of the created action tile. You can also copy the color used and paste it into other action tiles. You can also select the browser that the website opens in when clicked on such as Google Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. The URL field is where we can configure the action tile to go to a certain website. We'll use www.ucworkspace.com as an example. Checking Leave QL in full screen will not force Quick Launch into dock view mode when the action tile is selected. Having Unpin App Bar selected will make the dock bar load in unpinned mode when the action tile is selected. Selecting redirect to virtual keyboard will enable your virtual keyboard when the action tile is selected. Redirecting cursor will change which screen your mouse cursor will be focused on when action tile is clicked. I will select screen ID 2 for my example today. Icon data is the final piece of stylization available for action tiles. You can add your own icon, edit the current icon, reset the icon, have no icon, or select an icon from the thousands within Quick Launch's catalog. For this example, I will choose from catalog and search for Quick Launch and use our Quick Launch logo. Display rules will be covered in a subsequent video. Hopefully this quick run through of action tiles and quick launch was helpful for you. We have a lot more videos coming up on how to operate the new features within quick launch version 4, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.